in the elderly, the most common diagnosis for blurry vision may actually be cataract or refractive errors. Cataract is basically an opacity of the lens, the crystalline lens within the eye. So in cataract, what happens is that the lens becomes less transparent and therefore the images become blurry in nature. However, in glaucoma, the vision usually does not become blurred. There's actually a gradual loss of vision but the central vision essentially is clear unless the patient also has coexistent cataract. Because both cataract and glaucoma affects elderly patients, the patient may have one or both. In fact, many patients who become diagnosed with glaucoma, they actually presented with cataract first because cataract is more symptomatic than glaucoma. Glaucoma is also very often called the sneak thief of sight, basically because it does not cause any symptoms, especially in the early stages. In the early stages, the peripheral vision in glaucoma is lost, as I've mentioned earlier. Okay, this is a picture of what you, one may see in a normal in a normal patient, that means a patient without any glaucoma or cataract, you can see the details of this waterfall very well. In a patient with early glaucoma, the central details are still very clear. However, there's a loss of the peripheral vision Okay, uh, in the far periphery. In a patient with advanced glaucoma, this is what he may see. He will still see the central part very clearly but the peripheral part is lost. But in a patient such as this, very often they do not know they have a problem because again, they can turn their head um, to view what is you know, in the periphery or at the side. In very end stage glaucoma, even the central vision will become lost or at least part of it. That means that the fixation is actually split. In these patients, they can complain of poor vision or blurring of vision because uh, the very center part of them or the macular vision becomes affected. So in this group of patients, you know, they may actually uh, have visual symptoms but this is very late in, in the disease where maybe more than 90% of the nerve fibres will have been lost. Uh, in order to detect cataract or glaucoma, we have to have a formal eye examination by the ophthalmologist. Um, to diagnose glaucoma, there are some tests that need to be done, such as measurement of the pressure within the eyeball. And also, the ophthalmologist will need to have a look at the optic nerve head, okay, as well as to do a visual field examination. There are other tests such as imaging of the optic nerve head to detect how much nerve fibre is left in the optic nerve so that we can monitor the patient from then on and so as, um, it also aids in diagnosis. In certain circumstances where the eyeball pressure is extremely high, say about you know 40-50 millimetres of mercury, what happens is that the cornea or the, in, the transparent part of the front of the eye becomes swollen. In this scenario, the patient can experience blurry vision. But these are in patients when the pressure is extremely high and they may actually have other symptoms such as pain or ache, headache, and even nausea and vomiting if the pressure becomes high enough.